name is Sean Fitzgerald. I'm an illustrator here in Ireland and I've been really enjoying the Blur TVs, Punk who, Punks Who Paint and seeing the works and process so it's only great to be on here showing some of my own drawings. I got into punk as a teenager in the early 80s as well as the music and the lyrics. I love the pen and ink work of people like Nick Lance cover of The Day the Country Died and other loads of artists who were doing black and pen ink work for zines at that time. So with a friend we started an anarcho zine and then I scribbled loads on every corner of every page and after a while I started putting in the occasional Celtic knot. So uh, here in Ireland the majority of state-run schools are still in the hands of the church. Um, so I went to a Roman Catholic state-run school run by priests. Uh, here I was um, very intrigued by the insular Celtic type knot work used in some of the workbooks and on the older Christian manuscripts like the Book of Kells as well as the Celtic crosses here. Um, so I started drawing my own versions without the Christian elements. Um, so um, these the zine drawings uh, led me on to drawing banners and drawings for bands and collectives, all with independent DIY ethics. Um, so I've just picked a collection of stuff I've done. So this one here is a profane existence zine in the States. So uh, I've just wa uh, drawn like a really uh, barren kind of landscape, industrial, war, and then just a figure in the middle, just kind of, um, I don't know, surrounded by Celtic knots with just uh, fear and um, trepidation of, of the world, you know. So uh, next, I have this is the country grind. So uh, this one was like, uh, it's about punks off grid. Um, so I've got some uh, knot work taken from George Ban, and then uh, punk with, well, a lot of things that wouldn't be in season at the same time, but we'll ignore that. But we'll say with all their veg and harvesting, uh, a great scene. Another one here is uh, Burn Church. Uh, Irish band, um, well, Polish, Irish, and uh, they just left me at it really. So I started with, like, I know it might seem maybe horrific showing a dead child in, in a, a kind of a war torn landscape, but uh, in it, I'm, I'm showing nature taking back and the roots and plants growing in through the, the remains. So after a while, they said they wanted it to be a gatefold. So I added on to that. So making it a, a full scene, um, very proud of this one. Focus, again, Irish, uh, X, loads of bands. Um, it's a throne of, um, again, over a, a war-torn landscape. Then this one is getting a bit more Celtic knot work. I was given free reign. I wasn't too sure what to do. Um, so I said I'd go with a knot trying to represent boat bands of uh, sort of rats escaping from a, a very desolate looking city. All done in knots with a, a big chaos symbol uh, in the center. Kind of like a flag. From the Czech Republic is Insane Society Records. They had a logo, a very kind of simple one, that they wanted updated. Um, so I did a big, uh, heavy, heavy knot work version of their bird. Uh, so it's almost like a nest with the bones and skull of the bird kind of intertwined in, in the knot work. Sacrilege. So Damien from Sacrilege wanted to do uh, an official release by Sacrif uh, Sacrilege um, of their demos and a gig they did in London in 85. And he was really left me free reign, but I wanted to capture, we'll say, their first album, that feel of it, you know, Grim Reaper and all that. And then intertwined again with Not Work. Of course, I had to add the crow as well, really nice skull. 
Uh, next up is uh, Rasis uh, from Finland, and they wanted to um, just represent a kind of a feeling. So it was like a, a very sinking sort of feeling, pressed feeling, to try and capture it in the face. Again, very tough because you're just doing a face. I tried to get in bits, um, just again, the things are kind of falling apart, I suppose. This piece is Florence Newton, who was put into Yog prison in the 1600s for being a witch. She was begging for food at a rich house, and when the maid turned her away, she muttered her discontent. Uh, a week later, the maid of the house was going to the well where Florence came up, kissed her on the cheek, and said the words which the court believed to be a curse, which I've written around it. Afterwards, the maid, when reading the Bible, it supposedly jumped from her hands, and horse nails and straw came from her mouth, putting Florence in prison where she was tortured. Um, to my knowledge, there's no more information about her. So it's just like a, a tribute to her. Um, so next, we have a traditional Celtic um, piece. I did this as an anti-bullying piece. Um, just that they're a collective, so under the shadow of each other, they will survive. Um, then this next one, I'm going to go through how um, this was done um, in, in pen, using a, a Wacom pen on the computer, and then brought into Photoshop. So this is the work um, for the cover of my book, of all my drawings for the last 10 years. Um, and I call it the last battle of my Tura. Um, it's normally that battle is portrayed with um, a very kind of male, uh, heroic Conan the Barbarian going into battle and the glory of war sort of thing. But I didn't want to portray it that way. I wanted to um, portray like the aftermath of war and the brutality of it and all, you know. So um, in the story, in the mythology, it's the Morrigan who is telling a prophecy of the end of the world at the end of the battle. So I wanted to portray her in the front cover, not as a sexy kind of character that a lot of people would do in fantasy art, but somebody who's looking kind of sad, looking at the... Uh, way the world is going to go in the future. So a friend of mine, Venus Kamara, a poet, uh, sent me a picture of her with a stag, uh, like a stag skull and a snake. Didn't need the snake, so um, I redrew them. Um, yeah, it doesn't look like Venus, but it wasn't really the point. It was just more about capturing a face. So um, I gave them some of the knot work on their skin, um, like the spirals at Newgrange. So after a while, Venus said she didn't really like the way, how dark it was. So she kind of didn't want her face on it. So I changed it up again, um, the whole face, where it became like this. So um, I added a couple of things like crows, because they really, uh, ravens, they really represent uh, the Morrigan. And the knot work also, the end of the battle here um, so it's not all glory and happy um, battle so um, just to give you an idea of how, do, how I do artwork um, and not work is this is how I would do um, an interlinking knot on pre-existing not work you can see what I mean in a while so I'm going to create a new layer and I'm going to color overlay it white uh, give it some black outline. I'm going to maybe change that to a bit of a five, we mess around with it. And I can interlink on some of the knot work by doing this thing, you know. So, the beauty of um, <clears throat> using uh, the computer is you can mess around with it much more. Um, your knots and stuff. Before I used to um, use a light box and sketch 
and there'll be loads of mistakes and especially when you're drawing for bands and the like <clears throat> um, you can't move things after they're done and stuff like that so I can kind of work away my knots in and make them kind of join in I can do kind of a lot of interlinking knots and make them very messy without destroying the whole thing so we'll say I know a lot of people think the computer um, does all the work but it doesn't it's uh, you're still drawing very traditionally but <clears throat> it can stop you doing mistakes um, so I draw like this everything will be drawn up or is drawn up small small dots like so um, which will add of course to a bigger picture um, so eventually after hours and hours of working like that I'll add um, some color so this really brings it out you know so um, adding the color I suppose defines a lot of things too you know so then I wanted to make it a bit darker for the actual finished cover making it look like this um, so yeah um, it's a big big difference from uh, the first version you know which was nice but um, I think um, the color really captured it a lot better Thanks again for listening to me shout on. Hope you enjoyed all the drawings and uh, thank you to Blur TV. Cheers.